this will do. It's a little chilly out, raining. Got to find some shelter today. But it is Canteen Cup Tuesday. And it's lunchtime. Today what we've got for you is macaroni and tomatoes. We're going to use a nice big jumbo macaroni and uh, just some cheap generic diced tomatoes. You get set up and I'll bring you back. Today I'm going to roll with a uh, Chafing burner. And my jet boil pot stand. Use our Pathfinder canteen cup. Get about 20 ounces or so of water going in this guy. Let's see here. I think we've got a good boil. Now, if you didn't know it, when you're cooking pasta, you really want to let that water come to a good boil. That helps keep your pasta from sticking to one another. Another thing you want to salt the water. And that helps to season the pasta itself. I've got about a cup of jumbo elbow macaroni there. While oh, those guys cook. Talk to you about what else we're doing here. Now, last week I did some comfort food from my childhood. This week, this is comfort food from my wife's childhood. Her Hannah, her grandmother, would make this for. Very basic and simple. Elbow macaroni, say get the biggest one you could. Diced tomatoes, salt, and she'd throw a little pepper in there. And my wife, that's just the way she wants it. Don't do anything else to it. That's the way she grew up eating it. Now me, I think, well, that's a really good base to start off with something. And I like to play with it. But I never play with the whole pot because she wants it just like this. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to ramp up the nutritional value a little bit. I've got two tablespoons of uh, dehydrated spinach, about a half a tablespoon of dehydrated parsley, and just a little less than a tablespoon of dehydrated chives. I've got some fresh basil. A little bit of Parmesan. 
courtesy of Subway here. I've got some olive oil, some red wine vinegar, and a little salt and pepper. I open my can. I'm going to use my Victor Knox uh, Tinker. It's my favorite little carry knife. This kind of works backwards of your P38s. Instead of coming backwards around, you're going to walk this little can opener forward. So when that guy looks, you're going to walk it around forward using that little hook to grab the can. And this blade up at the front is what's going to cut the can. One of the nice things about the Pathfinder lid, you got a set of three holes on one side, so we can use that to drain the pasta with. Pour those guys on in. I'm going to use that whole can. Got about two thirds of it in there right now. Should have left the air of my pasta water in there. Wasn't a lot of tomato juice in the can. Add my dry herbs and vegetables so they can start hydrating. While we're waiting for a snack, we can't quite use all the tomatoes. We shouldn't let them go to waste. I'll throw those in the bowl. I julienned up. Some of that basil. Put that in there. Salt. Pepper. A nice little salad to enjoy while we're waiting. Let's see what we got. It works. I'm hungry too. I'm kind of glad I had a little extra tomato to have a snack while that's cooking. Now, I think my wife's hand at Mike would use fresh garden tomatoes when she would do this. Let's see what we've got going on here. Let's see if I can bring you in, show you a little bit of what we've got going on here. Hmm, you smell that? I'm gonna let that guy simmer away just another minute or two. It's just a steady drizzle out there today. But we still gotta eat.
let's season her up. Get a little salt. Some pepper. I'm gonna give that a little mix. Boy, oh, doesn't that look good. Add in my olive oil. vinegar I got another little mix around now let's get some of this basil here Take about three nice hearty leaves. I cut this little piece of plastic off of something, a little food container at home, so it's food safe. Just uses a little cutting board out here. I'm going to roll that basil up. this does is gives us a nice gooian cut. Gives us little ribbons. One of the things I like about my Victoria Knox, it's got this stainless blade. So I can use it for food prep and wash it. And no real big deal. Finish this off with a little parmesan. And boy, we are eating good. I'm just finishing cleaning up. I'll make sure I take my trash with me. I don't think you can tell me you'd be mad at that at camp after a day out on the trail. Nice hearty meal. Thank you, Hannah. That's good trail eats. Just gonna let you all enjoy the lake for a minute. The rain drops. I enjoy my meal. Remember Hannah's style is jumbo macaroni, tomatoes. Salt, a little bit of butter. That's it. Keep it simple. And you ramp it up however you want it from there. It's really good when you keep it simple too though.
cooking on one of those chafing stoves. It's kind of similar to cooking on a medium, maybe just under medium temperature at home on the stove. It takes a little while to bring something to a boil, but it's a really easy and controllable flame to cook over.